get into Witchwood. Well, we did chapter one, and we got one piece of the puzzle down. Forgot how many chapters there are. Good morning! I kind of forgot how to play, but we'll figure it out. Um, okay, do I need to just go outside? Hello? Oh, good morning! I trust you've made up your mind. Will you collect the souls I've asked for? Or would you prefer to stay stuck in this festering swamp? Alright, alright. No need to get your horns in a twist. I'll do as you ask. You haven't given me much choice. Splendid! As it happens, I can already sense the first four souls we seek. Two are in the forest, another in the swamp to the north, and the last in the fields to the south. Could you be more specific? Near a shapely stump? Perhaps inside a tree with a face? By an overgrown mushroom grove? What do I look like? A compass? Go out there and look for yourself. Alright, new chapter. Yep, this is what we were doing last. The Sleeping Maiden. Tab to view. Uh, journal. Okay, so let's do... I guess we're just doing them, right? Collect the four souls for the goat. Uh, we'll see how long it takes to collect one soul, and we'll see. But maybe let's do bear in the forest. I mean, that's just easily right there. So which one's the forest? In the forest, right? Where would this bear- Ah, oh, there we go. Here we go. Man, he looks in distress. He's freaking green. Oh, hello there! Sorry, I managed to get most of the d debris off the road. Looks like you've made a fine wreck. What on earth happened to your cart? Yes, well, see, I was sent on a very important mission by order of my captain. The bear! The bear, you say? What a mission. Uh, my, it's my job to make sure the Lakeshore camp is well stocked with provisions, but most importantly, a steady supply of honey for the bear's favorite mead. I was just on my way back from the apiary with a, care, with a cart full when a deer or something darted out of nowhere. Jostled my poor mule so bad that she broke her, br her bridle and ran off. My own heart nearly leapt out of my ribcage. Piled the darn cart right into the ditch she did. Now every barrel is smashed, and I can't bring myself to report back empty-handed. The bear will have my g guts for garters. I'm sure of it. This bear sounds like quite a brute. Oh, you don't know half of it. If he doesn't get his honey meat, he heads will roll. Maybe you can lend me a hand? I can't very well put this broken cart back together. No, no, nothing like that. But could you take a message to the sergeant of Lakeshore Camp? He's a reasonable fellow. Let him know what happened, and maybe he can get me out of this bind. <laughs> you can get to the Lakeshore Camp if you follow the road to the northwest west of here. I need to stay with the cart and ass <laughs> assess the- I thought it was asses. Assess the damages. <laughs> oh, da dear. Da -da 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 Press tab to open your journal review. Quest objectives. Track quest to display what to do next. Uh, there we go. New chapter. The bear. Okay, so each one is a chapter. Okay, fair enough. Easy enough. Uh, oh yeah, he's nervous. So we're gonna track the bear for today. Uh, there we go. Find the sergeant of Lakeshore Camp. He said northwest, right? And that's... The snake? Uh, northwest of here. Oh, all the way up there. Way, way, way west. Whoa, what the frick are you? Oh, I almost knocked over my cup. Uh, a goblin? What? Talks big, but is cowardly at heart. What are you doing here? How can I capture you? A dreadful doll. Ah, oh, you're mean! Okay, I'm sorry. Is this the way? No, this is to the swamp. I don't need to go to the swamp. Uh, so maybe I just need to go more west? Hello? Is this the right way? It is! Big tour patch. Oh, it is! Hello! <laughs> Dingus. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Yeah. No one but us soldiers are allowed inside the lakeshore camp. Get out of my way. I have urgent news of your quartermaster. I need to speak with your urgent so with your sergeant. 
uh, urgent. Only thing that's urgent is the line for the latrine, or if the captain hasn't had his drink. That's right, Captain Bear is in a right foul mood. You can't come in unless you want a good thrashing. The guard almost has to shout over the clattering, clattering din coming from inside the camp. You heard him? It's dangerous in there. You wouldn't have the heart to let a frail old granny like you near that beast. One guard turns to the other with a conspiration, conspiratorial shrug. Conspiratorial. Yep. Yeah, who are we to say what's good for her health? Oh yeah. You're right. You might be convinced to uh, look the other way if we was fairly compensated. Right. Fairly compensated, of course. We'd be sticking our necks out after all. Money? You want money? Guards hold out their hands expectantly like children begging for candy. Money, please. Like that meme. Money, please. Fine. Take it. You carefully press three heavy gold coins into the palm of the waiting guard. There. I expect you two can divide them evenly amongst yourselves. Right. One for you, two for me. What? You mean two for me and one for you? I'm the one who does all the real guarding around here. You still owe me for that game of dice you lost. You cheated me! Give me them coins! The two guards fall into fist cuffs, fisticuffs and roll into the bushes, leaving the gate to the camp wide open. Well, good job, dingus and dongus! Uh, wow, everyone's kind of passed out here. I'll take that. Goody, goody, gumdrops for me. Is that the bear? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! As you cautiously approach, the bear drains the last of his enormous tankard and smashes it against the head of a nearby soldier, knocking the hapless man to the ground. And then I wallop them, just like that. So next time I catch any of you cowards turning tail, I'll skewer you like a fish and leave your guts for the gulls. Suddenly noticing that his drink has gone dry, the bear bellows to the sky. More me, you yellow belly worms! More drink! Bring me my delicious honey mead. The soldiers taking cover nearby exchange nervous glances at each other, none want wanting to confront the bear. There's no more honey mead. The bear wipes a strand of drool, of drool from his sagging lip, and be his bleary eyes slowly focus on you. A mocking smirk splits his face as he waves at you with his great spiked maze. Say, now that's a funny looking helmet, soldier. I ever tell you the time I crushed the bucket-headed barbarians of the western mountains? You decided that now is a good time to leave the bear to his ramblings, rather than make yourself an unfortunate prop in his war stories. The bear kicks an empty tankard at you as you retreat back into the camp. That's right! Go get me more mead, you good-for-nothing slaggard! Wow! <laughs> You're great, dude! You're hilarious! Alright, alright, I get it, I get it. Calm down, calm down, I get it. Alright, alright, calm down! Dude, he is like a baby. <laughs> He's like a little kid! Um, that's a pig. Uh, okay, where is the captain? Are you the captain? You are, or sergeant. The frenetic looking officer shouts hurried orders at whoever will listen. But most of the camp soldiers are busy cowering or knocked out cold. Man the gates! You over there! Secure the perimeter! We need to just hold out a little longer! Sir, we're running out of men! Where's that damn shipment of honey? You step over an unconscious footman to address the man in charge. I might be able to answer that question. Who the- Who the- Who let this old bat into the camp? I found your quartermaster. He's having a bit of a cart trouble on the road. I'm afraid your shipment isn't going to get here anytime soon. What? Oh, curse my rusty britches! Without that honey and other supplies, we can't make the honey mead! The bear's gonna flatten the whole camp when he finds out! The camp looks half flattened already. <laughs> What's all this ruckus about? Well, the bear is the greatest warrior there ever was, which is grand and all when we're fighting the enemy. But once we set up camp, he likes to use his poor sods. Wait, he likes to use po us. Wait, he likes to use us poor sods as playthings to reenact his conquests. And the only thing the bear loves as much as fighting is drinking. Gulls us up so much honey mead, we have to brew it right here in the camp just to keep up. He points to a squat-looking device tucked 
uh, uh, near some tents. A portable brewery. Without that shipment of ingredients, I don't see how we could ever calm the bear down. He'll smash us all into paste before the sun sets. Let me take a look at this brewery of yours. If the bear is so in love with brawling and boozing, then perhaps it's, a, perhaps it's about time he received a dose of his own medicine. We gonna kill a bear? Uh, where? Oh, this thing. Holy cow. You inspect the brass contraption. A tank here, a hopper there. The bitter smell of alcohol is infused into the well-worn metal. Despite the needlessly complicated dials and tubing, at the end of the day, the brewery is really just a fancy cauldron. This seems simple enough. I should be able to concord the, just the potion for your troubles. The rattled sergeant shrugs his shoulders at you. Sure, if you think it'll help. But you'll need to fuel that darn thing first. Our supplies are a mess, so you have to figure it out on your own. You open up the brewery to inspect its complicated innards. Oh, cool twigs. You stop kindling into the pieces and scatter it into the bottom compartments of the brewery. Should be fuel enough for the job. You open the brewery. Okay. So we need a jar of water. Five of those. Jeez. Uh, cinder box. Do we need- Now we know how to make a cinder box. How do we know how to craft? Uh, fireflies. Alright, so we need to go get fireflies and make five jars of water. Uh, ooh, I'll just, I'll just take that. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna take everything. Alright, you guys having a good time? It's a good time over here? Yeah? Alright, y'all have a good in. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I saw fireflies. Maybe we'll just find them wandering about. Need some over here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, can I get that? No. How do I catch them? I forgot. There we go. There we go. I'm just gonna catch a bunch of these. Come here. No, I didn't mean to catch her. Oh well. I'll take all this. Might as well. Who's humming? Is him? Is he humming? Oh, he's humming. Catch this too. Whoa! Whoa, 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 what's that? Changeling. Those mushrooms don't do this much. <laughs> Wiggly. Uh, hatchet? How do I chop it? Uh, this ain't helped. It helped. Never mind, it helped. Okay. I just killed a child. From kidnapping to straight murder. That's how we like it. Um, so we have enough for this. Nice. And now I need to make five water, right? I think that was it. Oh, oops, ooh, ooh, made too much. That's fine. Uh, now we just need to go in the well and collect it. The well is down here, right? There it is. Might as well dig up this stuff while I'm here. I am using a trowel. How do I use the trowel? There we go. Oh, I have to get close. She's not really an automatic walker. Got it. Okay. And then let's dig up this part too. Come here, you little toad! I'm back! Did you miss me? Oh, it sounds like you missed me! Glad to be here for you, Bear. Man, he's so happy that I'm here. He's cheering me on. All right, let's see what we need for this brewery. What else do we need to do? Uh, jar of water. You slosh cool, clear water into the brewery's main tank. Not the best base for a potion brewing, but you want to preserve that honeymead flavor. You open up the brewery and cinder box. With the heat of a cinder box, you set the stove chamber of the brewery alight. It will bring the tank to a rolling boil. With a hiss of steam and the sound of boiling water, the rattling brewery is ready for the next step in the process. Of course, I'll need honey for the mead. That quartermaster said he was coming back with, or coming back from the apiary in the field, so I best try there. Then I'll need a proper magical binder and a token of the bear to seal the spell. Something in this camp ought to do the trick. Frothing, the frothing basin of the brewery stands ready for the right ingredients. Honey Metamorphous Elixir. 
torn teddy bear. Well, I just got one of the metamorphous yeah. things, right? So, can I make it? I need to kill another one. And I need to get bug icker? Iker? And then dryad fruit. Yeah. Uh, captain's tent. Through the open tent flap, you catch a glimpse of a pillage trinkets and treasures scattered around the spacious interior. You surmise that one of the precious objects might contain enough magical essence to use as a token of the bear. Your eyes have only a moment to linger upon a giant fur-lined bed before a hand pulls the door flap shut. The sergeant gives you a disapproving glare as he ushers you away. Hey, you can't go in there. This is the bear's personal tent. You know the kind of hell that would break loose if he finds out someone's been snooping? Don't worry, I'll be careful. Seems like your men are keeping him distracted anyways. You glance over at the bear as he tosses aside a soldier like a sack of potatoes. No way, no how. If you think this is bad, just wait until he finds out there's no more honey mead. <laughs> if you're so afraid of that stomping group, why don't you just slip away into the night? Surely it would prolong your life a little. And abandon all my friends? We soldiers gotta stick together. It's our only chance. If only there was some way to stand up to the bear. A thought seems to cross the sergeant's mind as he notices the potions and baubles hanging about your belt. Say, you're good with magical doodads and what's it's right? What if you made me some sort of protective charm or talisman? Then I could maybe have a chance against that monster without getting my head stoved in. <laughs> you know, that could work. If I make you a protective talisman, would you let me into this tent? I suppose I wouldn't have much to worry about if you did. Okay. Protective talisman. That's and dude, that thing is <laughs> that thing is shmoove, is bouncy. Alright, protective talisman. We need glue, which we need moo, in the field. Alright, this is where we get into the game where I said that it gets crafty. We're about to get crafty in here. Uh, Seeker Vine. Oh no, these drop the bug Iker, I think. Smoke Pellet Logger's Hatchet. I think the Skeeters drop it. <laughs> I love their name too. Skeeters. Smoke Bomb. Yes, I can craft that. Okay, so I need to shoot. How do I smoke? Smoke! And then hatch it! Yes! Okay. No, I don't have enough smoke! Leave me alone! Wait, is that blood that I need? Can I pick up that blood? Oh, I can. Ah! Leave me alone. Alright, let me recoup. So, let's see. Now that I got that... Do I have... Oh, what is this? Dragonfly wing. I need to kill dragonfly. What did I get that for? Why did I kill that? I need an Iker for something, right? How could I possibly forget already? Yes, okay. So I need to get more bug Iker, and that means I need to make more smoke bombs. Which means I need to kill more frogs. <laughs> Alright, cool. This is gonna get intense. Unless I can hit two birds with one Yes! Alright. That was easy enough. So let's see. I'm probably just gonna go to that same spot. You're not a changeling. You're just a furry butthole. Oh, is this the dryad fruit? <gasps> Wait, what? Okay, 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 okay. What? I need to make a cinder box for you. Dang it. I need to go get rodent lard. <laughs> Which means I need to make a trap. <laughs> So I need to make a trap, which means I need to make that. Okay. Alright, so let's get the snap trap. And I need the snap trap for a squirrel, not a bird. Um, where am I going to find me a little squirrel? I'm definitely picking up everything I see now, just so I don't have to worry about it later. A uh, squirrel. No squirrel. What is this hatchet? What, what, what is this? Oh, there's mushrooms in here. Yeah, we should get those, too. Is there- Ah, oh, here's a squirrel! Here you go, squirrely! Just for you! <laughs> you didn't give me freaking lard! Oh, yeah, you did. Never mind, you're great. Now I can make a cinder box. Nope, now I need to catch 
more fireflies. And right there, that to that freaking mushroom is on the ground. That's the one I have to kill. Let's catch all of this, because I am not playing anymore. We are collecting 101, and you are dead. Yeah, come here. <laughs> you're mine. You're dead. Alright. Uh, so now we can make a cinder box. Yep. And now we can take down that freaking tree. Come here, Mr. Tree. Where were you? I have your weakness. There you are. Ha! Oh, you don't die. You're just you're just upset. Okay, got it. <laughs> Is it a little hot? Does it hurt just a little bit? I'll boogie with you. Very nice. All right, see ya. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, we can make this now. So that is step one diddly done. And now we need to make protective talisman. Um, which means we need wicker wood. That's it. That's a jet outside. Um, I need to go get a jar of milk, dragonfly wings, and dog hair. Which means I need to make sleepy meat. Which means I need to make sporific potion. Which means I need to get a jar of water. <laughs> Okay, we're getting there. So jar of water, easily. I have an extra jar, thankfully. And I can just go get that from the well. And then I guess I can use the guy's dog again. Yeah, because the dog's awake. Um, so I'll go get that. And then we'll go and explore the fields, because we haven't gone to the fields yet. I'll cut these two while I'm here. Yeah, free stuff. Why not? Give me all that free stuff. Yeah. Sir, you don't have to cry. You don't have to be scared anymore. I already told you. You're fine. Alright. Fill that up. Let's make a horrific potion. Okay. Dig these. Get all the clay I could possibly need right now. There we go. I, I, I have a trowel. I have a- Why are you, why are you trying to use the- not, not use the trowel. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. Oh, the frog. I'll take you. Thank you. Alright. Now let's go make the dog eat. Eepy time, puppers! You know that nap I gave you? It's time for another one. See up here? Yeah, he is. Uh, let's see. Here you go, Bubba! Eat up! Delicious! Give me your hair. And I can't cut anymore, so I'll just take all this too while I'm here. Oh, 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 I wanna get those. I have no idea when I'm gonna be able to use them. We haven't used those yet, but you know what? The earlier, the better! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? In the abyss. Is there another set? There is. I'm ready! Alright. Now let's go find mill, which I'm assuming I'm gonna have to craft another jar. So I hope I have enough materials for another jar. I should probably check. I definitely have enough materials for another jar. So let's go find out where we're gonna get our milk from. <sighs> sir, it's okay, you don't have to cry. You're fine, you're fine. It'll be fine, sir, I promise. I'll figure it out. I'm here to save the day and take some souls with me. We stealing souls. We stealing bodies. What is this? Lazy grass. Well, I didn't realize they named a grass after me. Okay. A bit rude. They didn't even have to tell me first. Uh, milk, milk. Where am I gonna find a cow? You're not a cow. <laughs> okay. Hey, buddy. Uh, I'm not gonna talk to him yet. I think he starts another quest if I remember correctly. I don't think I have to talk to him in order to figure out where a freaking cow is, either. Ooh, I'll catch you, though. Nice. Uh, is there a cow anywhere? This looks like- Hey! Uh, we- Uh, quiet. Keeps to herself. Oh, okay. Uh, do you mind if I just have a little bit? I'm not trying to take a lot. Just- Thank you! <laughs> She's so sweet. Um, okay. 
so now I need to go back to the swamp. All right, maybe I should make sure I, I don't need anything else from here. Okay, I can craft this. That's what I need. And I can craft this. So now all I can do that I know is go to the swamp and figure out what I can do for the dragonflies. Hopefully they don't need anything from here. I forgot what it said I can- oh, meat steak, right? That's what it said? That the dragonflies want? Oh, and I can make that. Yep. Dragonflies, bats. Okay. So we have our steak. And now we just head back all the way back. Is there a teleporting I can do? I think there is, but I haven't unlocked it yet. So I'll just have to wait a little bit. Which is fine. It's not a bad walk. We can enjoy this peaceful walk together. Enjoy the scenery. Listen to the leaves. Listen to the birds. Listen to the rocks. Alright, I'm already bored. <laughs> uh, where is... Is it up? No, it's more up. If I remember right. It's way more up. It's all the way up here. So what do I need to do? Do I need to, like, put the stake down and then, like, hatch it? We'll have to see. I'm on my way, though! Let's see. Um, G. Interact. So I just need to interact with it and it'll be fine. I want to make sure I'm near one because it said it can attract a bunch of other things. Um, those are skeeters. I need to get away from the skeeters. Oh, hello, lady. <laughs> no, 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 don't talk to me. Who's there? My eyes have gone milky. Please come a little closer, sister. I don't believe we've met before. Why do you call me sister? I don't need sight to see someone who's also signed a dark contract. The woman looks blindly through you, though you can sense her focus. Contract. So you've had dealings with that damnable goat too. What sort of pact did he rope you into? Oh, you know how it is. I was young and he weren't no goat when I knew him. We used to dance naked under the blood moon and raise the dead to frighten dull country folk. Ah, but it's an ancient history now. Old age comes for us all, and eventually you've got to hang up the sacrificial dagger and settle down into the comforts of retirement. Oh my gosh. I know the feeling. I miss my cozy chair and little fireplace. Seems like a fine spot you've got here. Well, it's not all poises and pumpernickel. She clutches wordly at the moth-eaten blanket in her lap. It's rattled your bones. Maybe I can help? It's my dear old husband. Handsome chap, although a bit clumsy. He had tumbled trying to weed out some, some swamp traps from the yard. Awful things like to snap at your toes when you're not looking. Anyways, he twisted his ankle pretty bad and went off to the sick house to have it looked at. But that was a few days ago. He should have been back by now. And these lights haven't worked right in decades. So I can't even go check up on him. I've been so worried. I even thought about making another contract. Don't you dare. You just wait here. I'll go find him and see what the bother is. Thank you, sister. The sick house is down the road to the west. Be careful of the critters along the way. They've got a taste for blood. New chapter. Okay, we're not going to focus on this. This will be next time. The leech. Yeah, the leech is actually, I think, one of my favorite chapters. Just because I'm a big, like, I don't know why. I like the whole doctor, play doctor, medical stuff. Um, So I think that'll be really fun. Steak! Hey! Hey! Come on, man! Oh, there you are. Hey. <laughs> so, oh, it's reusable. Cool. Oh, and it comes with bug, uh, Iker. Cool. All right. So is, I have not that. I need to make that, which I have enough of now. And I can give him the talisman. Sweet. So that's good. Inquire at the apiary. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the apiary in the field. Alright, well, since I'm already here, I'm gonna give Sergeant the talisman and then we'll see what happens. Hopefully, something interesting. Hello? Anything new happening here? 
All right, here you go. If I make you a protect, yep, 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 yep. Here you go. Here, this ought to shield you from harm for a time. He grins nervously as he puts the charm around his neck. Then he clobbers himself in the face with his own fist. Wow, you weren't kidding. <laughs> no, now that's nowhere near the kind of punishment the bear can dish out. I better find some more stuff to test it out with. Then I'll give that bear a piece of my mind. He stumbles off into the camp to find other objects to try against his newfound protection, leaving the bear's tent unattended. So he's just banging his head on stuff. All right, you know what? You do you, man. You got that marine brain, that's for sure. Uh, clear bottles. That. Why would you have a bear skin? Meaty morsel. Ooh, yes, please. All right, so we got the bear. The baby bear. And now we need to go to the apiary. I didn't realize there was an apiary in the fields. I totally forgot about that. Maybe I could check the map for it. Oh, it's its own section. Okay, well that's helpful. Hello? How are we doing? Whoa, you look creepy. Hidey ho! I'm afraid we're closed for the season. Closed? But I need some of your honey right away. Sorry, our supply was cleaned out just a little while ago. Funny little man with a cart. You just missed him. Yes, I met him. He's the quartermaster for the bear. But he had a bit of an accident on the road. I need to collect some more honey for the lakeshore camp. The bear? Well, that explains why the quartermaster purchased so dang much. I heard that that lumbering bully would steal the nectar from a larva if it suited him. My poor bees have already worked themselves half to death for that order, and they don't have any honey left. I wish I could do something to help you, but the only honey left in the entire apiary is Her Majesty's personal reserve. Her Majesty? Why, my sweet spring flower, the jewel of my crown, the golden sun of my... Yes, yes, get on with it. My beloved queen, she's as lovely as she is wise and resides over her flowered kingdom. Ooh, a shrill voice pierces the meadow and sends chills down your spine. Slave, where is my dinner? I order you to bring me the finest sunflowers. Right away, my love. <laughs> and make it pretty this time. I don't want another one of your dandelion bouquets like some common wasp. Yes, yes, my sweet. Hmm, I think I better have an audience with this queen myself. <laughs> Where is the queen? Hello? Ooh, 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 yeah, please, more materials, please. Yes, give, 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 give. Whoa, whoa, the bee, flower petal. Oh, there she is. Dang, hot mama. How you doing? You looking good. The regal insect looks down, her curled nose at you scoffly. That fool beekeeper is supposed to stop the rabble from trampling my delicate garden. Garden. Good help is so hard to find, isn't it? And I suppose you've come to lend a hand. No, I don't think so. What do you want, little beetle? You seem like a very busy woman, so I won't waste your time. I need honey. Your best honey. She tilts her head, her long neck back, and lets out a buzzing laugh. Do you think I simply give my carefully cultivated riches to just any commoner? Do you have any idea how much time and energy is spent managing this colony? Everyone always wants something, but no one ever wants to work for it. <laughs> In a rustle of petals, the beekeeper comes running over, holding out an assortment of beautiful prairie flowers. My darling sweetheart, I offer you the finest meadow flowers. I hope you find these to your liking. Is this? Is this? Marigold, you wax-brained fool. You know I despise this stuff. How many times must I repeat to myself? Get out of my sight, all of you. My love, I have wronged you. Let me try again. You follow the beekeeper in a short distance away while he busies himself picking more flowers. She seems to be in a foul mood. Does she always treat you like this? Well, yes, but it's really usually my own fault. Sometimes when she really gets her venom up, a little bit of smoke and soothing herbs calms her right down. Smoke, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something to even out her mood. Some fumes to fit for a queen. Royal essence recipe. Alright. Alright, you little biatch. Uh, is this your honey? Can I just, like, chop some out? 
Let's see. Uh, ooh, which spice? Wait, hold on. All right, we need smoke bomb. Which spice? Sleepy. I can't make sleepy. Can't make sleepy. Okay. So I gotta fill that up. I can make witch spice right now. I can make a smoke bomb. So I just need to make eepy meat, and then we should be golden. Yeah. So I need to go fill the jar up, and then I sh have the yeah. I just need to fill the jar up, and I should be good. I'll be back. <laughs> Gotta go all the way back to the well to fill up some jars. Yep. And that's it. Now I gotta walk all the way back. I gotta walk all the way back. I hate it. I'll take this piece of wood though. I need like a car. I need a fly. I need a bicycle. I need a tricycle. Give me a unicycle. Something. Something that cycles. I'm fine with it. So these turkeys are mean, it looks like too. Oh yeah, they're mean. Get away from me. Please go. No. I'm innocent. I'm just a bird lady witch. I got your incense, you psychopath. Here you go, you crazy lady. Do I just ignite it for her? <gasps> Who hurt me? What the frick? What did I do? Light it. Oh. Wait, 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 what do I do? What do I do? Oh. You sneak. Do you honestly believe that your little puff of chew smoke can can the queen? Fans herself lightly as the world begins to push and pull all around her. Whew. Does anyone feel else feel a little hot? Anyways, as I was saying, you can't just, just. The sparkling sun bears down on the queen like a warm summer's embrace. My, look at all these beautiful colors. Have they always been so bright? The queen bee stretches her arms across the sea of flowers, brushing the tips of her petals of their petals gleefully. She, arch, she arcs her limbs through the myriad of colors swirling about her head. It's gorgeous! Oh, oh, and what's that delicious smell? Cracking into the waxen walls of her hive, the queen pulls out a golden honeycomb. She proceeds to messily stuff the, the honey into her face. Mmm, delectable! Oh, it's so good! You simply have to try some, my dear! I've never tasted anything so delicious in my life! She offers up a sticky handful to you. Why, thank you, my queen. Hey, look at that. We didn't even steal it. She just gave it to us because she's high. <laughs> Sweet. So that's all the ingredients for the bear brew. Is that going to poison our big boy bear? I hope so. Hey, turkeys. Oh, so angry. Oh, so angry. Oh, you're pissed. So how do you help? I'm gonna wait until I'm one heart for the mending poultice because I don't really want to waste it. Um, just one heart's fine. It's not gonna kill me if it's one heart missing. I don't even know what happened. I think I just stood too still next to a douche bee. All right, I got all the ingredient brews, Mr. Barry Boo. You're gonna love this mead. I'm telling you. The frothing base in a brewery stands ready for the right ingredients, honey. As you squeeze the honeycomb with your bare hands, thick, rich honey slowly oozes into the brewery's tank. Too sweet for your taste. But then, this potion is not for you. Uh, alright, let's do Metamorphosis. You ladle out a good portion of the writhing, tar-like substance into the brewery. To be safe, you add a little bit more just for texture. <laughs> uh, okay, and teddy bear. You pause before dropping the tattered plaything into the brewery. A glint in its button eye in its button eye reminds you of something, but the thought soon evaporates from your mind. You overturn your palm and the stuffed bear splashes down into the concoction. It floats sadly for a moment before becoming waterlogged and disappearing under the surface. With the addition of the final ingredient, the brewing equipment is sealed and set to work. Steam hisses from rivets and its swollen metal belly clanks and rattles. Before long, the waggling fingers of the gauges and dials settle down, indicating that the brew is complete. You give a quick sniff test and recoil at the sickeningly sweet vapors. You push an empty wooden keg under the contraption, 
under the contraption spigots and crank the release valve. The brewery strains under the pressure and fills the keg with chunky, oozing fluid. May not be the finest honey meat around, but hopefully that great raging galoot won't stop to notice the difference. We got it! We got it! Here you go, bear! It's nice and delicious just for you! I was like, oh right, so I pulled my sword out. Okay. Wait, how do I give this to you before? Ah, Captain! I've brought you more honey mead! The bear swipes up the tankard with his massive paw and tosses the contents into his slavering maw without hesitation. He licks his chops, savoring the peculiar flavor. With a sudden jerk, he bears down on you with suspicion. Say, this tastes kind of funny. What did you do, soldier? It's an, uh, a new recipe. I thought you might enjoy something with a little more sting in it. Urgh, you know I hate new things. I'll teach you to mess with my favorite brew, you hayseed. The bear is upon you with frightening speed. He raises the huge mace in his paw skyward, and you brace for the impact. With an equal measure of speed, the sergeant leaps between the crashing mace and your head. You peer through your fingers as a great clang resounds through the camp. The bear roars furiously as it blows is magically repelled from the sergeant's talisman. The mace goes spinning out of his paw and falls into the lake with a great splash. He gapes, dumbfounded as the sergeant stands before him, completely unharmed. Let's go, sergeant! Ha! That'll teach you to pick on us, you big oaf. This has to be a long time coming. The sergeant wags his finger at the bear. Who do you think you are, huh? You think you're so big and tough with your fancy feather hat and your big honking club? Well, look at you now. The camp soldiers gather to witness in stunned awe. Miraculously, the bear seems to shrink in the face of the sergeant's onslaught. If it was up to me, you'd be dishonorably discharged for disorderly conduct. You're a disgrace to the uniform. You're no captain of mine. With fear welling up in his eyes, the bear shrinks and shrinks until he is reduced to the size of a small cat. And another thing, I, uh, what's happening? <laughs> He's tiny! Oh, he's a teddy bear! In the place of the bear's drunken grimace is the stitched smile of a doll's grin. Two button eyes stare back at the disapproving faces surrounding the little plush toy. The sergeant takes a step back to reveal the small shape of a stuffed teddy bear where the brute once stood. Your transformative potion has finally done its work. Gee, I guess I overdid it? He scratches his head in a befuddlement, but seems genuinely relieved. Hey, Sarge, I guess that means you're in charge now, right? Oh, y yeah, I guess it does. Well, what are you all standing around here for? The camp's a mess. Let's get to work. Hey! Are you okay, bro? Chill out. I <laughs> wouldn't mess so much to do. You pick up the dimin diminutive doll and brush some of the sand out of its fur. As you inspect it further, its head lolls to face you. Far within the glassy surface of its button eye, you can barely make out a tiny crimson flame, the trapped soul of the bear. This ought to be what the old goat is after. I hope he's happy. Cool, so that's it? Yeah, sweet. That was fun. That was really cool. I love the story of what they do to the freaking, I guess, enemy. Cause these guys seem like complete buttholes. Like that bear was a jerk. I don't know if the other guys are nice or not, but um, we'll definitely see. That was super fun. That's great for another chapter. And the next one we're going to do is Leech, right? Sweet. We'll do Leech um, next time.